Good morning. This is Tuesday, November 14th, and today's devotion is Discovering Divine Design. This is Genesis 24. As for me, being on the way that the Lord has led me. We should be so one with God that we don't need to ask continually for his guidance. Sanctification means that we are made the children of God. A child's life is normally obedient until he chooses to disobey. But as soon as he chooses to disobey, an inherent inner conflict is produced. Conviction. On the spiritual level, inner conflict is the warning of the Spirit of God. When he warns us in this way, we must stop at once and be renewed in our spirit and our mind to discern God's will for that moment. In other words, if the Holy Spirit is nudging you, stop and ask why. That's Romans 12. If we are born again by the Spirit of God, our devotion to Him is hindered or even stopped by continually asking Him to guide us here or guide us there. The Lord led me. And on looking back, we see the presence of an amazing design. In other words, walk in the Spirit and you won't walk by the flesh. If we are born of God, we will see His guiding hand and give Him credit. We can all see God in exceptional things but it requires the growth of spiritual discipline to see God in every detail of the everyday. Never believe that the so-called random events of life are anything less than God's appointed order. There are no coincidences in God's kingdom. It's all by His design for our lives. Be ready to discover His design, His divine design, anywhere and everywhere. And that's so exciting to think about. Beware of being obsessed with consistency to your own convictions instead of being devoted to God and the conviction of the Spirit. If you are a saint and say, I will never do this or that, in all probability, this will be exactly what God requires of you. There was never a more inconsistent being on this earth than our Lord Jesus Christ, inconsistent with what man thought he should be doing. However, he was never inconsistent with his Father. The important consistency in a saint is not to a principle, but to a divine life. It is the divine life that continually makes more and more discoveries about the divine mind, meaning God's heart. It is easier to be an excessive fanatic than it is to be consistently faithful, because God causes an amazing humbling of our religious conceit when we are faithful to him. And that's the challenge I have for us today is are we consistent in our relationship with God? Are we consistent or, did, or, or are we excessive when we're up and down in a roller coaster relationship? Are we consistent in our relationship with God? Let's pray. Father, we thank you for uh, your Holy Spirit's abiding. And we pray today, Father, that we could be consistent in our walk with you. Not excessive in our emotions, wherein when we're up, God is awesome, and when we're down, God is mean. But Lord, let us be consistent in our love for you and the relationship that we have with you through your Son. May the Holy Spirit fall upon us today and guide us. We ask this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.